YouTube sucks now. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we're not going to give them our ID because they don't need our ID. So instead, we're going to not use their site and we're going to use alternatives. A lot of people might just be like, oh, I'll just use an ad blocker. I'll use sponsor block, whatever. That doesn't work. YouTube still will use their stupid AI to read your videos and see what you're watching. Best thing you could do right now is to completely get off of the platform and use an alternative like FreeTube, LibreTube, or NVIDIA, which is what I'm all going to go over today. They all give you YouTube videos. All the videos on them are from YouTube. It's not like a external site. It basically lets you kind of watch YouTube videos in a guest mode with no real restrictions. If you want to watch age restricted videos, you usually still do have to make an account for these because it's like illegal for them if they don't do that. But generally, it's a pretty good way to avoid YouTube and still get your videos, see your people you're subscribed to, all that. First, we're going to start with desktop apps. The best one I've found, personally, is called FreeTube. FreeTube is great. You can import your people you're subscribed to. A lot of settings. You don't need to log in. You don't need to do any of that. And it even has sponsor block built. It's very easy to download. You go to the FreeTube site. I will link it in the description. You just go to download, and then you download the one you need. To import your subs, you're going to want to follow this guide. It's very easy, very simple. Basically, TLDR, you go to your YouTube settings, you request your data, and then YouTube will send you that data in an email, and then you import your subscribers very easily. Once you have the app installed, you go to settings, uh, you go to data, you should find a thing called subscriptions. All you do is import subscriptions, and then you import the file that YouTube uh, emailed you. There are also browser extensions you can install like Lib Redirect or Redirect 2 that basically make it so when you open YouTube and you want to watch a video and maybe you use the recommendation, you can right click and you can open a FreeTube or I know the other one I think opens it in Invidious or like it opens directly into FreeTube once you click it. Uh, I personally use uh, Redirect 2 because it works better for my needs but I recommend trying both and seeing which one works for you. I forgot to mention this while recording, but to enable sponsor block, it doesn't come pre-enabled. It does this with all the apps, I'm pretty sure, but it's very easy to enable it. You just go to settings, you should find a sponsor block tab, and then you just enable it and it works just like the normal extension. Next, I want to go over mobile alternatives. Unfortunately for mobile, I don't really know much for Apple. The only real way I know how to do it is side loading for Android, and I personally use an Android phone. For mobile YouTube on iPhone, you could probably use Invidious in the browser, which I'll get to next. But first, two best things I found for mobile YouTube alternatives is LibreTube and a fork of FreeTube. Personally, I don't like the fork of FreeTube. I can see why some people like it, but I personally just don't like it because it doesn't have a lot of the things that normal mobile YouTube will have. LibreTube is very similar to mobile YouTube and has a lot of the same features, and I personally find it better. I would still Still try both i'll link both in the description installing LibreTube or the mobile fork of freetube is pretty easy there's a video tutorial playing on the screen right now but basically both of them are linked in the description you go to their githubs scroll down or go to the downloads download it once the apk is downloaded you install the apk you open it open the app and then from there you can mess with your settings or whatever it's pretty easy To import subscribers, it's the same way on FreeTube as it is on the desktop. And LibreTube is basically the same way. You go to settings, go to data, and then find the file. One downside of LibreTube is, personally for me, I don't like its base, and I had to customize it a lot, but customizing is very easy, the settings are very simple, and once you install any of these sort of apps, I would recommend just going straight to the settings anyways, and setting it up how you want it to be. And then last is Invidious. Invidious is a bit more interesting, um, it's all in the 
web browser, so you don't need to download some scary app or anything. It is a little confusing, but basically you just click these NVIDIAs and you click one of the servers. I usually just click the first one. Um, but then you can watch videos. It gives you popular and trending. I think if you log in, you can even input your subscribers, but I don't personally use NVIDIA, so I wouldn't be very knowledgeable. I would put some more research in NVIDIA if you do need it. One thing I just wanted to add here, I know this isn't my usual content, but I'm just thick of YouTube and I've gone on my own little adventure and I thought it might be helpful to kind of explain what I learned and help people skip the process. Because the biggest difficulty with all of this is the average person isn't going to do this and the average person doesn't know how to do this. So explaining it, how to do it in a simple, concise, easy way is amazing. And if you already know how to do this, please, I recommend you. If you have any friends who maybe aren't super techie and still do this, try introducing them to this stuff. At least just see if they like it and if they stay on it, that's great. Just anything right now. Just get off of YouTube because it sucks and we shouldn't have to do this. Also, a uh, new Rainbow video coming soon. Yay!